Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest it's on back here. And it, and it opens the He's been instructed yeah. to keep it down, but we'll see. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about my three least favorite aspects of minimalism. Now, I'm just, this is just a video for fun. You know, the positive aspects of minimalism far, far, far outweigh anything I'm about to say right now. Uh, minimalism literally has changed my life. All right, so number one is that you no longer have a backup for anything. For example, in my own life, I lost a pair of gloves, which is actually a benefit of minimalism, is that you rarely, if ever, lose anything, and I never lose anything. Um, so it was very odd for me, but I only have one pair of gloves, so I was kind of screwed and had cold hands for a while. <laughs> Next, all stuff becomes precious. When you get rid of like all belongings that you don't necessarily care about, suddenly everything you own is something that you do care a lot about. And if you are around kids a lot, they think that everything is a toy, <laughs> even if it is something that is very special and important to you and maybe perhaps fragile, they have more access to it, if that makes sense, rather than if you just had some junk laying around that it wouldn't matter if they heard it. Okay, and the third one is how often you have to do laundry. I only really own enough clothes uh, at this point for probably a week and a half of wear and then I have to do laundry and I only own a couple different workout outfits so I have to do laundry almost twice a week because I do work out so often. Depending on what you do to clean your laundry, uh, one that can take a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of effort, and it might wear down your clothes as well so that is kind of a bummer. And then I just wanted to throw in one last bonus, and this is very me specific, but maybe other people can relate, especially if you came to this channel from my other channel, Graver Vomit. You would know also if you watch the channel that I am a makeup artist and a drag queen. So with that aspect of my life in mind, it's like I'm living a double life. Like I don't want to own a lot of things. I don't actually want to have a lot of makeup and I really don't feel like I need a lot. Like I have what I need. I'm never sitting at home thinking, man, I want this, that, and the other thing. That is honestly true. I feel like I have all the makeup that I need. A lot of times brands will send me makeup and I want to use it. I don't want to be rude. I like the stuff, so I keep it, um, but I'm not buying anything on my own. And then especially when it comes to clothes, I do buy clothes here and there for drag because you cannot wear the same thing every time. You just can't. Um, people don't want to see the same outfit of you every single time you perform or every single post on Instagram or every single time I go to a club. Like, I can't wear the same thing every time. I've got a lot of accessories, like I can switch things up, but in the long run, people will notice if you're wearing the same, like, leotard and hardison boots every single time. Anyway guys, those are my three least favorite parts about minimalism. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Do you want to say bye?